do with something as itchy and spiky. Sorry, just want to be. Hello people, welcome back to my channel. Salut les amis, bienvenue et bon retour sur ma chaîne. Hola, bienvenue à mon canal. Konnichiwa, Watashino Channel ni yokoso. How are you doing fine today? Another me, another video, video of me, you know. We saw on the title of this video, the year video. We are gonna be talking about booties for fall. How to style them as a petite person because I don't think that I'm that tall. Well, there is that. That well, I don't have these legs and I don't have her legs. So I have to do with her God gave me. So here I'm sure I'm not the only one. So I'm gonna go with six different type of boots that you can style as a shorter person. What you want to do, what you don't want to do when it comes to booties for fall, and how you can still look super fabulous and even a little bit taller. Can you believe it? You can style them, the do's and done, and you're gonna have some little nice try on here, of course, as usual. It's still gonna be the same even for shorter girls. Just gonna be to how to emphasize even more when it comes to tips and tricks that I'm gonna give you here on this channel. So, of course, let's get to it. Let's have fun. <laughs> Just so you know, I'm like 165 centimeters. So the first boot that I'm gonna show you is gonna be this one. It's not everybody cup of tea. So if you don't like it, it's okay. What you do want to do with that when you have something as edgy and spiky. They're from Jeffrey Campbell, so they were a little bit pricey, you know. What I would say to do here with these boots is just to either wear them with something really short as a skirt, a mini skirt. It's spiky, it's a little bit heavy. You really want to make them lighter. So you want to get with something really mini or really ballony besides your leg and just make them a little bit taller because of the shape of the skirt so you want to play with that and you want to play with the mini skirt part of it as well if it's black it's even better because you can play with the studs the studs being the star of the show let them be the start of the show you know you don't want to have to just make them compete with something else so that is just to have them with skinny jeans because skin give that impression that your leg actually are a little bit taller or longer than they actually are or something else you can do with it is to wear them with the dress and really nice feminine dress it still brings that kind of feminine vibe you know it's like attitude rocky with a little bit touch of feminine here it's all about that you know what you so don't want to do with them is to have them with either another skirt but mid length and with a lot nope. of ruffles around it because again you don't want any competition here forget about this type of skirt and forget about anything cropped and anything culottes culottes are just not allowed with that type of boots i'm, I'm sorry the problem with culottes is that it's not super long and again you have spikes you have stripes a really white flare and everything going on is just a bad look altogether i really insist on that it's, it it doesn't work it just it's not a pretty look it's it's not cute but you can do something else with this culotte and i'm gonna show you that in a couple of other options yeah, my second pair of boots this one they are the sack boots they are the sack sacks boots sack boots sacks boots sack boots well you got the idea the sack boots these are my second favorite type of boots when it comes to fall just because of the shape and because of the height and i'm gonna tell you why in a couple of seconds they're from zara and they're really 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 comfortable not super high so it's really 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 good for anybody just 
who doesn't want to have to deal with like height and wearing it so much it's like not even a joke here and I'll get your legs in a really nice great way Stay close to your ankle they are not like super white what you want to wear with that is like black or really darker type of like tones darker type of shades because they're so black and they're like really pure black you really really want to get to the mid dresses because when mid dresses when we are shorter are just a really big deal we don't have much legs to show off first of all I'm not trying to be mean I'm not trying to be mean with myself or with you it's just a reality of it so what you want to do when it comes to like ankle boots if you want to wear midi dresses you want to just look for boots where the we kind of see your calves we kind of see your ankles the more we're gonna see the more we can actually feel that you actually are taller than you actually are because of that kind of nice illusion you know to go with flare pants you definitely look like a really model you look like a billion a million times taller winning and believe me I had high heels and I can tell you that I looked at the pictures and I was just amazed by how tall I looked because in reality I'm not that tall <laughs> so you really can go with really so many different ways when it comes to sock boots it's just unbelievable what you don't want to do with it is just to have it with a lot of type of colors it's something really colorful and really lighter when it comes to shades and something really black when it comes to the feet the nope. attention is drawn right to the feet and because of that you're just gonna cut your feet like in a really not such fashion way so you want to stay away from that uh, you can have see the example here i'm just saying that the way it looks it's just a little bit it's just gonna make you shorter at the end of the day just the combination here i'm just not a fan of but like i said you can go with it if it's your cup of tea the third pair of ankle boots that i'm gonna show you is these ones and they are so cute i love them so much i bought them last year from misguided and it's definitely still in the trend and of course I love everything about it and there are like openings on both sides which I love a lot actually there are a little bit more point here so the better it is when you're shorter height here but it's not that much so there's tons of things that you can do with it there are tons of things that you don't want to do with it a dress and pair them with like a shorter dress again you want to play with shorter 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 things shorter dress shorter skirts you know everything shorter is just better when you have shorter legs or you can play with something midi but like i told you there's a way to do it gives you a little bit more shape because it's like wasted around the waist <laughs> gives you legs like opening cleavage legs gives you a lot it's not mid calf it's actually around your calf and that's what you're looking for if you have shorter legs give you a shift so that's the look that you want to go with have a tiny waist cinch it your waist this is a plus for anybody with a waist if, if you don't have a tiny waist you want to stay with something much less structured and much more loose stay away from everything way too much structure and mid skirts are just the best and because it's not super high we can see even more legs so you want to have it you want to have it you want to have it <laughs> so uh, this is what you want to do with that type of boots what you don't want to do with that however have them with uh, a pencil skirt for example then you get a slit nope. but the slit is just not gonna be enough you don't want to go with pencil skirt when you have something not as nope. high so you don't want that for a pair of boots that i'm gonna show to you is gonna be these ones they're soft boots but uh, much more on the flatter type of area here the more dangerous part because being shorter you have to play with heels and i always suggest people shorter to have heels whenever they can and as much as they can stay away from everything long i love about this short skirt different color so really nice contrast because it's a nice different color still is darker so you don't want to stay too much away from that silver and black have a choice here but if you go with something way too much flurry or way too much summery the style of it the mix is just weird and it's just i don't know it's i wouldn't necessarily suggest it you don't want to do with it <laughs> like my own mom like don't do it just don't do it why mom don't do it i still love my mom though 
a lot. It's not working. It's too long and it's uh, It's not working. Something else that you don't want to do with it is to have Denied. a mid dress or I would say blouse type of dress and have it with uh, either leggings or pants and have it with it if you have it high waisted but if this is the opposite and you have a long or mid dress or mid blouse this two cuts here this is the cut of the blouse because it's way too low for your height and torso area and then you have the boots that actually is a little bit higher and mid calf way too many cuts and there you just have a half legs the only leg left here is just the it's not <laughs> Sorry. The last pair of boots that I'll be showing to you today is this one. Oh, how cute are they? White boots. Probably what people just don't expect on your feet. So when they look at your feet and they see white thing and they see white boots, they're just like, oh, interesting. It's either I really love the look or it's either it's really way too away from my way of dressing up. So I will pass. Thank you very much it's all good it's all good you know it's all good what i would suggest to wear with is just a tons of tons of things like lighter colors or just brighter colors a mini white dress that you can pair with with and it's really 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 nice really really sexy and cute at the same time because it's white on white right sweet girl type of look and we all want that well I want that. It has to be really flowy because the more it's flowy, the more it just not that much emphasize on the length. So belt it up if you want, but you can leave it as this because it's like pretty much mini. Something else you can do with it, mini dresses. This is a look here. I love this look a lot. I've shown this look a couple of months before and I think it's a really nice way to just like showcase your word boost again. Give it the slit treatment. Slit are uh, your new leg cleavage. I'm telling you. Still gonna be a really noticeable slit, but you don't have much legs. So, why do you care? <laughs> why do you care? <laughs> Underneath, just to be sure, because you don't want to like expose yourself to the whole world. It's not the point here, of course. Slit treatment is the new leg cleavage for short girls. I said it. Yep, I said it. The thing that you want to do with it is to go with something much more longer. So you kind of want to go with like longer dresses. It's just gonna eat you up alive, you know. So you have to be careful because of it. So and I would always say belt it up. It's long, but we still get to see a shape. Being really careful because you you can't show much because you don't have a lot to show. That's just the reality of it. Something else you want to do with white boots, of course, is to have them with high waist. Waisted pants are what I call the new cleavage for waist. You appear being so much taller. Just an example, like you have the mom jeans, the one that I show you here. It's not super high waist, but it's a really nice option. Or you can go with something much more high waist. Everybody cup of tea and not everybody want to style it and not everybody would have bought it and not everybody would have styled it the way I did. We are all different and when I see something I just see a way to style it which is like really much more me as a person than anybody else as other people. <laughs> chic look. The other thing that you can do go with cigarette pants and it's not a great look but here I really really push a little bit more because not everybody is gonna say it that way because of the colors so it could either work or be a fail but what I like about it is that even though it's a warm color not everybody would be comfortable because of it because still it's gonna show up even more because of the contrast of the colors the top has a white shape to it really white so because there's a lot of animal prints out there and it's really up to you to choose which one is the best really good basics for me and that's the basic that I always go to so hopefully I hope it helped you I hope you enjoyed it I hope it inspired you even more you don't have the truth in fashion <laughs> of course I, I can't say that so and says it's just everything that I saw on me that I saw on other people and how I can compare and see what looks really great on me and what looks really not as great on me every similar boot that I can find is gonna be down below it's reachable I'm always available on my social media snapchat Twitter Facebook Instagram all of these sweetie things are just all gonna be down below of course you know you know if you want to see more subscribe to my channel i usually give fashion advice twice a week tuesday and thursday 3 p.m eastern time every single week and i love it i love to have fun i love to be goofy i love to dance i love to just be me you know 
gonna be a lot of positive attitude, a lot of positive vibe, and it's all about that, about being crazy, but not too much, being crazy enough to be you. Salut les amis, j'espère que vous avez adoré, j'espère que vous avez apprécié ma vidéo. Aujourd'hui, je vous ai montré des astuces par rapport à tout ce qui est bottine. Une fille comme moi qui fait quoi 1m65 On va dire que c'est pas toujours évident. On les achète pas à celle des astres. Hein. On se sent on se sent un petit peu triste parce que bah, les faits, bah, c'est pas ça. C'est plutôt ça. Denied. Du coup, non, ça marche pas comme ça. Il y a toujours une solution à tout et il y a toujours moyen de s'adapter à ce type de problématique, j'ai envie de dire. Tout ce qui a à voir avec jouer avec sa taille, jouer avec des petites astuces par rapport aux vêtements, par rapport au type de vêtements qu'on met. Donc là, je vous ai un petit peu montré sur mes six bottines. Ce que vous pouvez mettre avec ces bottines, ce que vous ne pouvez pas mettre avec ces bottines. Quand vous êtes petite de taille, 1m65 et moins, ou euh, autour, hein, on va pas, on va pas gratter non plus. <rire> Exposez vos jambes au maximum. C'est des fontes, elle est avec des jupes à fond. C'est toujours ce que je recommande. Si vous mettez quelque chose à plat, vous devez jouer avec la longueur du vêtement. On veut pas être à moitié à poil, on veut pas nécessairement révéler... Euh, You know, la planète, on ne peut pas tout révéler à la planète, c'est pas le but, mais on veut quand même révéler assez de gens parce qu'on n'en a pas assez. Et des longues robes, ça va très bien, mais porter des longues robes avec des espèces de bottes, de bottines façon chaussettes qui donne un petit peu l'impression que c'est des chaussettes, c'est la meilleure des choses. Pourquoi Parce que ça épouse la forme du pied. Donc on voit vos chevilles, sort de silhouette et ça allonge le pied de la même manière. J'espère que vous avez aimé, j'espère que vous avez apprécié. Bien évidemment, je vous revois dans ma prochaine vidéo. D'ici là, je vais vous souhaiter un super beau week-end. Amusez-vous avec vos amis. Amusez-vous et profitez des derniers jours de l'été. Et comme je le dis toujours, soyez parce que bah, c'est gratuit. Bye.